morning. Well, back in the gym after not going for a whole week last week. But I got my workout last week. I just didn't get it in the gym. We did a lot of yard work and all that kind of stuff. So, so I really don't feel guilty about that. But back in the gym. <sighs> So now I'm going home. I've got to get dressed, get my few things tidied up, and I've got to go to Loosedale. I'm going to get my hair cut. It's just, it wasn't ever short enough, like on this top, when I got it done the last time, and now it's just getting too, too heavy. I can't fix it, so I'm going to go get it trimmed up a little bit. And there's a couple spots that she's got to fix my color. Um, it's just not looking like I want it to, so. <laughs> and I wouldn't be stressed or worried about it. Not I'm stressed or worried about it. That's totally overkill on those words. But I wouldn't be worried about it, except we have plans this weekend. And I want it to look nice. And I don't want to have trouble fixing it, but... Then again, I just looked where we're going and it's supposed to be raining. So, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get my hair done. Bottom line, it's got to be done. I'm going to get it done. Um, and then tomorrow is booth day. I've got to get in there to work on my booth. I'm going to totally redo everything. Um, get it kind of started decorating it for summer we take down all the spring we work some of the spring into the summer stuff so I'm gonna rework that um, I don't know about other people who have booths but April has been a very slow month for my booth um, but that's okay. I mean, that's just part of it. It's part of it. I remember being in the, um, when I had my salon, um, you just knew what months was going to be your slow months and you knew what months were going to be your busy months. And so I'm learning all of that. Um, so it's just, I'm not stressed or worried about it. It's just part of the fact. So I guess I'm just saying that. So if you have a booth and you're maybe having a slow month, you're not alone kind of thing to kind of encourage you encourage one another but <laughs> I know that I need the encouragement and y'all have been so good about helping me um and encouraging me y'all always encourage me y'all are just y'all are the best but y'all do it in a healthy way y'all don't encourage me to the point of y'all give me the big head like blow up my ego because y'all are y'all kind of keep it balanced and you encourage me and you also like you know it's just friends you know you know friends do you just want the best for each other and so that's what y'all do anyway <laughs> i'm babbling and just rambling now but i'm gonna get home get tidied up get showered up and um That's what's happening. We had a busy weekend. If y'all would have seen that vlog, I did vlog the weekend. It was a busy, productive, fun weekend. And um, we're gonna have another fun weekend. Just James and I were going out of town. So I'm excited. We haven't been out of town. Just me and him to just get away for just because and I can't tell you the last time. I guess it would be the last time when we went to um, Tennessee, which was a couple years ago. So, we're not going far. We're just going a few hours away. And uh, I'm excited. So, as of right now, that's what's happening. You know, when you have as many kids and family as we do, you just kind of have to be prepared for your plans to change. But as of right now, that's what's happening this weekend. And I'm excited. <laughs> So, all right, y'all. I will tell y'all more about it later. Um, probably in a different vlog. So I'm probably going to vlog the weekend because of what we're doing. Are you intrigued? Are you curious? <laughs> it's going to be fun. Food day. 
waiting on the mama to get here. This is my hair. She went shorter on my bangs. She touched up my color. And now I'm all ready. But y'all, this fat bad and out there is fixing to explode in blooms. All these Easter lilies are about to explode. I'm so excited. I gotta put this grill cover back on the grill. We grilled last night. We had barbecue chicken thighs and potato salad. It was so good. So, I'm gonna cover this up real quick and just wait on the mama. I'm dressed very casually and comfortable because I've got a lot of work to do in the booth today. Gonna make it over. first shot of this video I've she has customized her shirt cut my neck off because i can't stand to be choked cut my sleeves off and see look how cute look how cute and <laughs> we're gonna have a fun day we're gonna be in the booth look at that lady with her little pup yeah. anyway we're headed Aww. into the goodwill because we i'm trying to find a couple things that i need fabric wise yeah um, oh, when we get through, it's going to be a dollar. And I want to find some little bitty American flags. We'll find them. If not, I'm going to go in the Dollar Tree or maybe the Big Lots or something. Oh, I bet you we could find some in the Big Lot. Yeah. Anyway, we got some stuff to try to find for the booth because we are redoing it today. Oh, am I going to work her? We're yes, transitioning into summer. But listen, girls, if you do like t-shirts, with good fabric. Now, I, look, she gets on to me for telling y'all about this, but look, we're friends. I don't want it to be like a sales pitch. I'm not sales not... pitching. Y'all my friends, and these things are the best fabric I've I ever got a hold of. I don't want to ever feel, make anybody feel like when they turn on this channel, I'm going to be trying to sell something, because I hate that. Well, I don't hate it, because I am trying to tell you, because y'all part of us, and hey, Delightfully Southern is us, and y'all, so... Get you a good shirt, girl. If they you good. want it. If you don't. And there's a beautiful green that she's got to pay me with next. But if y'all do get shirts, I've already got some people that sent me pictures of them in my booth. If you if you want to, send me your picture of you wearing the shirt and I'm going to add them into a video. Oh, do that. Y'all do that. That'll be so fun. And I hadn't even told you we have phone cases. Now. Phone cases? You going to buy me a phone case? I'm going to buy you a phone case. Oh, you see that, girl? <laughs> I raised an absolute awesome daughter. Yeah, I added phone cases to it. I'm going to get me one, too. I, I, got it. I can't tell y'all how good they are yet, so let me get one, um, and I'll show y'all what it looks like. And if you're interested, then, you know, oh, it'll I be cannot. an option. Wait, so don't I'm get so one excited. yet. I'm excited. Don't get one yet. I'm going to get one first, and I'll let y'all know if I think it's good. If it's not, I'm going to take it off the thing, but we'll see. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Switching everything around. I mean, look. Look what we done took out. We're taking this out. And we're just redoing everything. She's working her little heart out. Look at her. She's doing her thing. Probably just half. Yeah, I think I'll be able to. Look at that. Don't tell me we don't work hard. This is a job. Yeah, that's gonna work good, Donna. Look at that. And by the way, every nanny, when you hear me say, Donnie, that's her nickname from her daddy. Amen. <laughs> that's a deep mining study right there. But look what she's doing so far. Is that not gorgeous? Makes me wanna buy some of it. Oh, she's had another idea. She has wore the mama. She has wore the mama out. Um, you see this hair? You don't look bad. Oh, girl, I feel bad. You're just tired. <laughs>
this is what I look like now. We are exhausted. I'm so hot. I'm telling you, you don't understand what it's like taking all that stuff down and moving it well, and redoing it. I ain't even worried about But we're good till cute. fall. Hey, I am not even worried about cute right now. All that's, I'm worried about to get me something to eat. We're good till the fall. Thank you, Jesus. That ain't very long, you know. I don't care right now. I just don't even give a damn. I'm caring. What? I don't even give a care. Anyway, we got the booth done. It's been one of those aggravating days. I'm sure y'all had one before. And we're happy. We're happy. But Are you happy, Mom? I'm happy. Are you really happy? We're through, Donna. You see the sweating face? It has been a full day. The mama just left. I just unloaded the car. Um, I've got to get another bin because I need to put all the stuff that I took out for spring, put it, label it, put it up in the attic so I'll have it for next year. Um, it's just been one of them days. It's like, if it could go wrong, it did go wrong, but we got it done. She's exhausted. I'm tired. My back's hurting. <laughs> I can tell I've been working, and um, well, now I gotta get in here and cook supper. Uh, we're having something quick, easy, and simple. James loves it, and he requested it, and I was like, I can do that. We're having tacos, so doesn't get any easier than that. So I'm gonna make that, and then I have um, one thing that I'm gonna make over. I'm gonna do a thrift flip on it, because it didn't sell in my booth, so I'm gonna flip it and put it back in there for like the summer. So I'll show you, let me go get it and show you what I'm talking about. We also about. went thrifting and it's just not a good thrift day. So I don't really have a haul to show y'all, but I have this that I had in my booth and I'm gonna leave the body of it white, but I'm gonna paint the top red and the bottom of it maybe blue and have it like red, white, and blue and put it in the booth. And I think that will be adorable and maybe it'll sell. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But I am really, really happy. I know it's a lot of hard work, but I am so happy with how the booth turned out. And I know when I start pulling down my summer decor, then I'm going to have stuff to add to it. I just know that. Um, but I am real excited with how everything is looking. Um, I tell you what, having a booth... I never realized this, so let me just tell you in case you don't realize it, having a booth is hard work. It is hard work, which I don't mind, but all that stuff that's in there didn't just show up. You have to shop it, price it, and then you have to style it. And I've tried to um, style my booth with a theme and like vignettes and show how you can use items. So. Hopefully it pays off, but I was talking to a couple of other vendors that have booths at the same place. And um, this month has been really slow for them as well. So that made me kind of feel good. I mean, I hate that we're having slow months, but it kind of made me feel good that it wasn't just me. And we were talking about things that don't sell for us and the same things that don't sell for me don't sell for them, such as art, dishes, lamps. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just, <sighs> just never know but anyway thank y'all for hanging out with us today the mama was in rare form um as always she was tired though she was tired she's a trooper though she's a trooper she's had a busy couple days and she was wore out and then you add this heat and humidity it's so humid uh and then that place where my booth is they don't really have ac so when you're in there working, it gets really hot. So, and then she's hot natured anyway. She is so hot natured, but I appreciate y'all hanging out with us. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't even know what all I've got, but I guess I'll see when I start putting it together and hopefully it's a fun one for y'all. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all. Real quick y'all, I wanted to share with y'all that Sarah, my daughter in love, whom I've had on this channel many times we've done home tours and y'all love her decor and everything about her she has just started her own youtube channel 
I shared with it on Instagram and um, I'm sharing it here. Uh, the name of her channel is Cottage on Jones, just like our Instagram. I will leave it linked in the description box below. And if you want to go check her out, she did a brief introduction video, uh, just introducing herself and her channel. But I think y'all are going to really enjoy her channel. And um, I'm excited to see what all she gets into. She has such great taste and style, and I just I love her. So I'm excited for her. So I will leave her channel linked in the description box below. I would love it if you go over there, if you think it's something you'd be interested in and enjoy, if you would subscribe, you know, getting that first thousand subscribers and then 4,000 watch hours. That's a doozy, but I think she'll get there. She'll get there in no time. But wanted to just tell y'all about that. This one is needing my attention. So let me take care of him. Mm -hmm. 